Okay, we are back with uh, Ozele Chiango by Siena because the artist has just joined us from Cameroon's economic capital, Douala. Siena is back on the air. So, Siena, if you are listening to us, then welcome to African Cocktail. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you, Enes, and um, big up to everybody who is listening to this, and I wish you a happy afternoon. Hope you are enjoying the show. Definitely, Sienna, they are enjoying the show, just as they were enjoying that beautiful one, the title, Oziele Chiango. Uh, is that, um, somebody said, is Bangwa, am I right? Yeah, that's Bangwa. Hmm, wow, that's beautiful. So, uh, you're an up-and-coming uh, rap artist uh, uh, whose single uh, we just listened to is uh, prominent in the news now. Eh? I must say that. Uh, first, um, let me know, how did you come about uh, this particular single, which is already making news around the place? Well... You know, I wanted to come up with something new, something um, to pass a message to everybody. So I decided to use um, the vernacular Bangwa because, you know, everybody nowadays, I'm trying to promote the, the, the culture too. Because many people sing in Douala language, in Bamileke, so why not in Bangwa? I decided to, to come up with something new to promote the culture to Douala, the Bangwa. And uh, at the same time, passing the message to the, to, to, to the public. Now, I, I must confess that uh, I, I, like, I like this song. Uh, and in a recent article on Tip Top Stars uh, online magazine, uh, the author of an article uh, on you summarizes the message in this track as a reminder to whoever the message is destined to that they are no match to whoever the message is coming from. So, what is this true meaning? Behind Oziele Tiango, what are you? What are you, what are you telling us in the song? <laughs> okay, um, first of all, I want to use the opportunity to thank um, Tip Top Stars Online Magazine for the um, for that article. But Oziele Tiango is not directed to any particular person hmm. because um, it's it's a message I'm trying to pass on to the the, the public. I want them to remember their, their work and, um, and their esteem. So it's not um, a particular tribe to somebody, it's not destined to somebody, it's destined to everybody. It's not like I'm having something special with another person. So I'm just trying to know, let them know they can grow bigger and, and bigger and even better to have the self-confidence and um, be, be confident in their abilities because no one else would. So, uh, this uh, single was highly publicized. Uh, how long did it take you to work on it? Well, the single was, re the, the, the single was recorded last year. Last year, but um, we took, like, um, the, 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 we had that last year. The, 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 the beginning of this year, that's 2014, we finally decided with the PR thing um, that we are going to promote this. We recorded a lot of of different tracks and we have to decide on which one to promote and finally we choose this at the beginning of this year hmm. it was very difficult <laughs> a very difficult decision so why would you decide to do songs of uh, universal genre of music uh, in a mother tongue uh, how would consumers of your songs in other parts of the world be able to decode the message uh, somebody listening to the song in uh, Nigeria, for instance, is, is expected to understand what you're singing. And in Bangwa, would that not be difficult? Well, I mean, I don't think it's going to be difficult because just look at something, we listen to, to Nigerian music, we listen to them singing in Yoruba, in Igbo, and we even listen to those from Tanzania. It's their mother tongue, so... Um, if you really want to, to know the meaning, we I think because I pull up, um, working on the lyrics, I'm translating it. I don't think it's difficult. We sing a lot of songs in, in different mother tongues. If we really want to know the, the the meaning of it, I think 
we, we just have to come in closer to the artist and know that it's also I think it's the best way because we are not Europeans. We are trying to, to promote our culture. That's Africa. So we should try and promote Africa. Right. Let's try and promote Africa. Sienna, is uh, almost two weeks since you officially uh, released this single. How has it been doing out there in Cameroon? How is the public reacting to it? Oh, the public reacted very well. And uh, I really want to thank them. And my team too is very, very clean. So I thank all those who have listened to it, all those who commented to it, and all those who shared. I really, really appreciate this. And this is a big shout out to the team. We really appreciate what you guys are doing. Right. Let me take you back a little bit. Um, when did you decide to get into music professionally? And what inspired you? I got into music about four years ago. I was being inspired by my passion. Like I have this passion for music, and uh, the serenity it brought me to to to. to the serenity brought me like how can I say it? You know, I have this passion because you can't just do music. You can't just get up one morning and start. So, do you operate under any uh, label? Hello? Hello? We're sorry about that. We lost Sienna there. We're about to run off our conversation with uh, the talented rap artist. Young, yet so, so talented. Well, um, we will have her back on uh, this show some other time. But for now, she's out there with her latest single titled Ozele Chiengu. Hmm. My Bangwa is not that uh, good. Right. Well, this is African Cocktail. Let's ride on with music. Then we brace to get uh, our next guest on board. Mm -hmm.